Welcome back to the program. Well, this time last year, at just 26 years of age, Australian Idol sensation Stan Walker was diagnosed with stomach cancer. He faced a potentially terrifying outcome, but Stan made the decision to document each step of his treatment. Take a look. I just have to thank God every day that I'm alive, you know. It's quite scary. It feels like I'm dying in a way. This whole home, we've all been struck by this ugly curse, this ugly gene. I've watched everyone die. And I went for a routine check about two months ago, a week later. I found out I had cancer. Like, I know I'm going to beat this. Just sit back after sit back. Everything's going wrong. What I'm realising more now is that the journey is far from over. It's very raw, it's very honest, but it's also very inspiring. Mm. And we are so pleased to say that one year on, Stan Walker joins us now. Mm. Hello to you. Big it is good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what a start. <laughs> it, is, it is really confronting seeing what you've been through because 13 <clears throat> tumours, is that right, that you've battled so far? Yeah, there was um, yeah, 13 lesions. Originally, there was only one that they found, but when they opened up my stomach, there was actually 13, so I think it had spread already. And now cancer, and that particular cancer, spreads real fast. It's like salt. Does so, it? Yeah. How many, you mentioned there about your relatives. Um, and I'm sure this was weighing on you. Um, I guess for, for many of you, it's, it's you're living with a sentence. So we're just waiting, mm. for, waiting to get it. How many did you watch pass? I've watched maybe 30, 40 of my family members, possibly more, mm. pass from this. And before that, a lot more. Um, so, I don't know, it was like a, a... It's bad to say, but it's kind of a normal thing. Mm. But I was thinking... Oh my gosh, now I'm a part of that line that mm. could, you know, just... And did that terrible reality help you in some way, knowing that you've, you've seen others and witnessed others so closely? Did it give you some insight into what you'd be going through? Yeah, well, I kind of sometimes... I, I didn't pay attention a lot to, you know, because I was thinking, it's never going to touch me, yeah, it's never right. going to happen to me. Like, But then when it happened, I was just like, OK, I need to, you know, I need to, like get into action and it didn't really I didn't really it didn't really hit me until I actually got the operation because mm. I didn't care I was like oh just hurry up just do it I don't want to think about it didn't it. feel real yeah and and but like you know thank god that technology and science has we've come so far that it's kind of like a n easy thing for these surgeons to do now people accused you I think there were accusations around that you were on the drugs <laughs> and that you had alcohol and drug problems <laughs> I mean that must have been difficult to live with Oh, it was hard for my family. Yeah. My family, you know, I'm used to being told I'm this and that, like, yeah, it's yeah, normal yeah. for me. Mm. But it started affecting my family a lot. And I just said to them, just wait. It'll all make sense when this comes mm. out. And it wasn't so much to shame people, but it's to educate people, to help people. Well, hopefully it shamed them as well. Oh, yeah, Lord. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you deserve to do that. I mean, this is the most horrible accusation. Um, but you decided to document this as well. That, that's a brave thing to do. Why? Um, well, I'm a creative person. Anything that happens in my life, good, bad, ugly, sad, like, I try and turn into something creative, you know? Yeah. Like, I'm a storyteller. Mm. I'm, a, I'm a singer, I'm a songwriter. Like, I try and use everything. But also, it was, like, an excuse for me to... Um, well, not an excuse, but a way for me to process and also help people. Like, yeah. I know it sounds like a cliché thing, like, oh, I want to help people. No. Nah. But it's like, there's so many people in my own family that are so, like, they think they're exempt to something like this. So when people see me, they're going to think, no, you're young, mm. you're healthy, how can this happen to you? It's just like it can happen to anybody. Yeah. So it's like a bit of a boot up the bum, look after yourselves, mm. and a bit of education on this too. And you've taken it to heart to look after yourself because you've really lost a lot of weight during this year, and yeah. fitness is key, right? Oh, definitely. Like, I was so excited before the operation, I was like, yes, I'm going to be skinny forever. Oh, and then when it happened, I was just like, oh, my God, mm. OK, I'm getting a bit too skinny now. <laughs> mm. But, no, nah, it's... Um, and what are you doing to stay fit? How are you doing it? Well, I've just... My eating habits have changed. I, like, eat vegetables I never even knew existed. <laughs> I'm taking, like, these supplements and stuff and yeah. I never, never heard of I didn't even know what a pri probiotic was before. Yeah. But now I'm like... Like, I'm not all the way there. Sometimes I eat bad and I get sick. 
just for the taste, but like um, generally, I'm I'm quite healthy. It's a it's a 24/7 job, to be honest. What about your singing? I mean, is, has it, has it affected that? It, at the beginning of the day, I thought I thought I couldn't sing because I right? tried, and it never came out. I was like singing, and it would stop, and mm. I'd be like sitting there like manifesting like oh my gosh mm. but then it's slowly coming back and like I've done shows and like a new kind of voice came out I was like oh really you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> there it is uh, yeah. but then it goes well I'm like okay so I'm still trying to build that back what about a bit of a Marvin Gaye for us? Can you just hit, belt out a bit of, hey, baby? Uh, uh, just that, you know. It's early. It's early in the morning. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's never too early for Marvin Gaye. Oh, goodness, Thank goodness. you very much, Deb. So Mother's Day is approaching as well, yeah. and you've got a special tribute to your own mum as well as part of your new music. Yeah, so a oh, funny story about writing the song, because I went into the studio, and I was like, I want to write a song about my mum. Everything she's gone through, because she went through cancer just before me, like eight months before I found out. Boy, and boy. so she was still in recovery, and I was like, I want to write a song and I, the day after I wrote the song I found out I had cancer oh oh. so it was like this thing and I was just like oh mum we're doing this together mm. <laughs> well kind regards to her um, uh, send our love uh, she's obviously been through a lot uh, mm -hmm. and also regards to your tongue as a fan I'm sure this has been a battle the whole family has taken mm. on board and the whole community so well on you and, and thank you for being so open and honest yeah. <laughs> remarkable story you're incredibly handsome oh, <laughs> you've got a twinkle you have got a twinkle of health in your eye though I tell you you look amazing I just can't that, take, take, my, take it and run with it I just can't take my eyes off you <laughs> <laughs> and you won't take your eyes Good off this documentary either Stan Walker the fight of his life airs tonight at 9.15 on 9 and Stan Walker's EP Stan is out now and get out there and grab it he's, uh, he's a real champion yeah. great singer Good on your <laughs> real talent. thanks again